The Key Facts About Russia's Su-75 Checkmate The new Russian single-engine fighter Su-75 may not be in the F-35 class of field that is getting crowded Echo's designs dating back to the Joint Strike Fighter competition of the 1990s. Ironically, Russia copied two concepts that lost that contest. The internal project is designated as T-75, once it enters service with the Russian Aerospace Forces, it will be renamed Su-75. The U.S. intelligence community proposed a NATO code named Screamer 4 Su-75 Checkmate. Fact number 1. Imitation of Boeing X-32's inlets. The images show an aircraft with a large angular chin inlet reminiscent of Boeing's X-32 contender in the JSF contest ultimately won by Lockheed Martin's F-35. Checkmate also seems to have a short, clipped delta wing, which does not extend to the tail, again, like the Boeing X-32. Fact number 2. Imitation of YF-23's Rudder Vaders The jet has two canted elevons rather than a standard empennage of stabilizers and elevators, hearkening to both the X-32 and McDonnell Douglas's JSF entrant, as well as to the YF-23 on which McDonnell Douglas was partnered with Northrop Grumman. The YF-23 lost out to the Lockheed Martin F-22 in the Advanced Tactical Fighter Competition. Russia never built rudder vaders, which require sophisticated flight control systems to be developed by Sukhoi as the functionality does not exist in Su-35 and Su-57 fighters. The flight control system is the major weakness of the existing Su-57 aircraft. Fact number 3. Elements of MiG LMFS The Su-75 inherited some features of Sukhoi Bureau's early LFIS-21 project, and the MiG-type LMFS project. Fact number 4. No foreign buyers, no checkmate. Unlike the previous Su-57, which was mainly targeted for domestic sales, the Su-75 is an entry-level affordable aircraft destined for foreign buyers. Its market position, positioning is locked in some third-world countries eager to obtain cheaper alternatives. In the propaganda film of the aircraft, many potential customers appeared in Vietnam, India, and the UAE. Indian Air Force's withdrawal hindered the development of Russia's Su-57. Without India, Su-75 will have the same struggle as Su-57. Fact number 5. Potential Development Flaws The aircraft is fitted with a 117S engine with a maximum afterburner thrust of 14.5 tons and wait until the product 30 engines enter serial production. The leading edge of the Su-75 main wing adopts a medium sweep angle design. The outer edge is horizontal, and the trailing edge is perpendicular to the fuselage's longitudinal axis. This design is very abnormal in the fifth-generation aircraft because the main wings of ordinary stealth fighters are mostly designed with trapezoidal wings, with the leading edge designed to be swept backwards, about 10 degrees, and the trailing edge to be swept forward, about 10 degrees. Moreover, the position of the aircraft's flaps is too forward, which may result in insufficient control torque and affect the agility of the aircraft. The main wing of the Su-75 adopts a small sweep angle design with a relatively large cord, and the sweep angle is estimated to be between 20 to 30 degrees. Due to the cancellation of the horizontal tail, the aircraft uses two trapezoidal camber full-motion vertical tails responsible for the pitch and yaw of the fighter. Compared with a single vertical tail, a double vertical tail is more conducive to aircraft control and requires sophisticated flight control systems that Sukhoi has yet to develop a flight control system for Su-75. Fact number 6. Radar Problem It is not yet known which radar the Su-75 will be equipped with, but Russia's top war news said that Russia is yet to develop an active electronically array AESA, radar for any aircraft of Russian origin. The Su-75 will be fitted with the same Urbacy phased array radar as the Su-35. Fact number 7. Limited Armaments According to the Sukhoi's propaganda video, the aircraft has three built-in weapon bays, and its standard anti-air mission mode is five air-to-air -air missiles one built-in bomb bay on each side of the fuselage and the main bomb bay on the belly can be used for three missiles. In addition, there are four external pylons under the Su-75 wing, which can mount several ground attack weapons. Fact number 8. Initial Operating Capability 
Judging the current state of the SU-57, it took 21 years for Sikhoi to deliver one production variant SU-57 to the Russian Air Force with an inferior engine and phased array radar. No one can undoubtedly say that Russia can develop and deliver an aircraft with a predefined time frame. The Su-75 is a long way from the developmental phase to initial operational capability, it is expected to be beyond the scheduled operational date of 2026. To summarize, Russia never built rudderveders, which require sophisticated flight control systems to be developed by Sukhoi as the functionality does not exist in Su-35 and Su-57 fighters. The flight control system is the major weakness of the existing Su-57 aircraft. Russia does not have an operational active electronically scanned array, AESA, radar. The future of Su-75 depends on export commitment from buyers, who are willing to invest in the development of the technology. Without foreign buyers, Su-75 will have the same fate as the Sikhoi Design Bureau's early LFIS-21 project and the Mikoyan's LMFS project. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to get latest update on defense and aerospace industries.